while Kevin Smith and eight other male members of his 123 Albion Road Pathways International Ministry remains in custody, I can't help but wonder how so many red flags were ignored by his adoring congregation. So just because when you gave the man your mackerel, he was running high water and him knows a run because it was so tasty. So you believe that your mackerel has gripped him forever. Because your mackerel called pliers. And this man has told you, if you allow me to sample your mackerel, I am going to marry you. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Smith, reportedly from Glen Goffin St. Catherine, and a past student of Jamaica College, migrated to and lived in Canada for 10 years before returning to Jamaica with a doctorate in psychology. Unconfirmed reports alleged that he may have been deported. Smith, who is very active in the social media space, posing in pictures with well-known politicians, athletes and entertainment personalities, appeared to have been larger than life. Interestingly, some of these pictures have been making the rounds on social media, with a few people distancing themselves from the past. Among the many strange things surrounding Smith is his obsession with titles, dubbing himself His Excellency Bishop Dr. Kevin O. Smith, Crown Bishop of the End Time Nabi, among many other things. Smith sometimes spoke with different accents and dressed like characters seen in African movies. The practice in which large sums of monies including wallets were tossed on the ground in a manner that was lacking in reverence was very strange. Smith would sometimes take up his own collection and told the congregation how much money they should take to church. You reportedly had to seek permission to go to the bathroom while at church. Some males in the church reportedly had to seek permission to go to the barber. Meanwhile, death prophecies were reserved for those who tried to leave the church, with utterance from Smith such as your head will return on a platter being commonplace. His strangled hold over his congregation manifested itself through Tanika Gardner, who had taken steps to make Smith the sole beneficiary on her life insurance policy after having her son and mother removed. However, the transfer did not go through as there were some errors on the document. Gardner was seemingly under such a spell that she recently accessed 400,000 Jamaican dollars at a loans agency to support her leader's lavish lifestyle, inclusive of his flamboyant gowns, dapper suits, and dazzling jewelry. A lifestyle which was built on the foundation of raking in millions through his collection system, where four offerings were collected per day, with the service being held three times per week, on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. There is the $100 offering that starts a service, the $1,000 seed, then the regular service offering, and another offering where you make covenant with the word. He reportedly made even more money from consultations. People would book appointments for US $50 per session. For a spiritual encounter or a deliverance session, they paid US $350 each. Sometimes in one night, at least $250,000 would be raked in from offering a loan or $750,000 for the week. On average, he earned $1 million per week because there were up to 10 clients per day, mainly at US $350 each. Smith's mansion in the upscale community of Hatfield Meadows in Ironshore is most palatial. There's also the very strange practice of someone usually a young male, covering him with an umbrella whenever he's outside, even in a swimming pool. There are also allegations that Smith may have molested young male members of the church. Responding to this, Head of the Aeron Police, Assistant Commissioner Clifford Chambers, is quoted as saying, There is information about molestation. That is what it is, information. But that means that it is part of the investigation mode by the police officers. In a situation like this, 
Investigators will do absolutely nothing until there is evidence pointing that it should not be ruled out, he said. Now, leading up to that infamous Sunday night, Smith told his congregation to sell their televisions and refrigerators because other people can watch them through their TV, to which many complied. Sources have also indicated that the church building have a room designed to resemble an ark and the cellars filled with food items. Something is about to happen that you need to go where? Far away from the shore. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. Now, the only thing I know that can create a flood is a tsunami. The signs must have been flashing bright red when church members were summoned to a three-day convention and told to turn off their cell phones, leave them at home, and dress in white. Smith wrote the following on his Facebook page. All members of Pathways baptized under my hands only must be present at church this day, October 18, 2021. All cell phones must be switched off and left at your homes, wrapped in aluminum file. You will not be able to come on the property otherwise. He also wrote, The Ark is loading now, 123 Albion Road. Leave immediately, dressed in white. PCC registers only now. PCC, go immediately now, the flood coming. Go now, run leave immediately. Leave immediately, run. All who were sealed yesterday, come now. The members were told to prepare themselves to be cleansed as some members of the congregation will be traveling on a heavenly journey as an ark would be coming for them at 9.30 a.m. on Monday, October 19. One of the deceased, 38-year-old Michael Scott Brown, who was suffering from kidney disease, discharged himself from the Cornwall Regional Hospital without permission because the pastor allegedly promised to get him a new kidney. Interestingly, a GoFundMe campaign hoping to raise US $30,000 to cover legal fees for the leader and his arrested members was launched. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!